William Watts will be kicking off for Alabama. He's the young freshman from nearby Pleasant Grove. He kicks off. Michael Proctor will do the uh, chores as for field goals and extra points. Now deep for Louisiana Tech, Eric Redman, Rodney Bruce. The Tide won the toss but deferred to the second half. Fielding it at his eight is Redman. Eric Redman brings it out to the 20-yard line where he's brought down quickly by Eric Turner. Shane will uh, give it a boot to David Palmer, who a year ago returned one for a touchdown against the Bulldogs. David eludes the first tackler, as he does most of the time, but cannot break free that time. So the Tide will take over on the 44-yard line. Not many better than that in the country. In motion, Palmer. There's the reverse. Tackled quickly, short of a first down. Shannon Jenkins on the stop. He can line up at a tailback position on the tall sweep. Just an all-around threat for the Tide. Horace Turner, Terrent Lynch. Blocking for Palmer on the reverse. There's a first down, and David takes a shot. Reed came in with his head down and caught him right as he uh, was making his cut. Sherman Williams now. First and 10 going over the left side. The first three carries were to the right side. Now back on the left side. Third down and three. Parker's first pass of the afternoon. The... Uh, Shuttle pass to Terrell Lynch, it's a first down. How do you describe that one? <laughs> Hopefully he'll return with no problems. There's the blitz. Parker reads it and finds Sherman Williams. First down, Alabama. He peels it off quickly. It's warm on the turf, and Sherman Williams heating things up, finding a hole, squirting up close to a first down. He'll be a couple of yards short. Sherman averaging over six yards a pop. Huge haul, and he goes forward to the one-yard line. Guys have to be able to see the hole. Williams found it that time and took it right down to the goal line. Nothing fancy, straight ahead. Sherman Williams that time works his way into the end zone. Touchdown Alabama with 66.54 on the clock. 5.53 on the clock. Shane Barbaro kicks for the second time this afternoon. It goes way up high, but not very far. David Palmer will let it bounce. Takes one of those high turf bounces, and Alabama will take over on the 46-yard line. Palmer has 14 catches coming into the game, and there you see Barker. He really throws a perfect pass right between the two defensive backs, right in that open scene. That's the only, pay, only place Barker could have thrown that one, and it'd be complete. We all remember that Louisiana Tech defense from a year ago, but guys like Myron Baker, Artie Smith, Doug Evans, all now playing in the National Football League. These are youngsters going against the tie. Sherman Williams. Four minutes to play first quarter. Third down and three, they say. Sherman Williams breaks that tackle, spins out of it. Goes for a first down. Second and goal. Sherman Williams right behind. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Untouched, Sherman Williams. To that 4-3 set. Tries to pass again. This time connects to an open receiver, Chad McKee. Aaron Ferguson to get in that roll. It had been buying him some time until Shannon Brown gets the sack. Shane Barbaro. Hunts for the third time this afternoon. Almost blocked by Tommy Johnson. David Palmer lets it bounce, and there's another turf roll. You see that a lot. Bounces twice, and then kind of falls forward. You get some weird bounces on this stuff. Parker back to pass. I think it's tied in. Open for a first down, and knocked out of bounds, Tony Johnson. And there's nothing the receiver can do. That's right. He's exposed to all. Jay Barker gets wrestled down for a sack. Louisiana Tech's William Flowers. Thiedrich ran off the sidelines uh, celebrating. The coach said, get back in there. So he had to hustle back to give Louisiana Tech 11 players for their punt return team. That's Rocky fielding the ball and bringing it up to the 45-yard line. The fellow I'm standing right here with, Derek Thomas. How do you like this Alabama football team? Well, I mean, it's great to be back. It's great to uh, have the opportunity to come to Legion Field. I hadn't been here in five years, and looking up at the scoreboard uh, looks real good right now. 
Louisiana Tech uh, grabbed a first down while we were listening to Derek. And now on the 44, Spurgeon goes back to pass, finds another receiver. That's Cooper. Gain of about seven yards and out of bounds. Joe Raymond Peace, Gene Stallings, matching wits this afternoon. This Louisiana Tech football team, well coached. We'll notice that today. Intercepted Chris Donnelly, nobody in front of him. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown, Chris Donnelly. Ferguson rolls left. Intercepted again by Willie Gaston. Yes. Ten minutes to play in the second quarter. It's third down and seven. Bergdorf. Heavy rush from Louisiana Tech. First down, David Palmer. First and ten from the 26. Bergdorf in charge of the tied offense. Aaron Lynch blocking for Sherman Williams. Skates a tackle, runs over another tackler and gets a first down. There's the blitz from La Tech. Bergdorf heaves it in the end zone. Touchdown, David Palmer. Eric Redman, who has stopped short of the first down, is the fastest player on the uh, Tech offense. Runs a 4-3-40, but he hasn't been able to show us that speed on the kickoff return from the backfield. Again, Tommy Johnson nearly blocks it. The ball goes out of bounds about the 43-yard line. Yeah, now my playing time is going to be a little limited, and uh, I'm just going to try to make the best of it. Great to be back here, see all the fans, the players. Pretty exciting. Derek, I thought you handled yourself just remarkably well during all that time with Emmett and uh, playing and not playing, etc. A relief for me for him to be back. You know, now a lot of pressure is off him. Off him. I think Derek Lassie is uh, going to have a great career in the National Football League also. Though. Thank you. He's got some bad ankles, and they're trying to get him ready for uh, SEC action. There's the play fake. Nice play fake. Wide open to Deuce. Touchdown, Alabama. Almost as strong as a guy they used to say was pretty strong himself, Mr. Hunter, during his playing days, right? Right. Scott could rifle it. Almost blocked. Boy, they're getting close. Tommy Johnson deep. They're giving Palmer a rest. Freddie Kitchens in at quarterback now. Freshman from Etowah High School. All stater a year ago. And there's Mr. Steger from Huntsville, and they love it when he runs the football. He's doing Terry Bowden and his staff down in Auburn doing a super job. Ryan Deal's first punt goes into the end zone. So once again, Louisiana Tech will take over at the 20. This week, really, they've, they've uh, done it about face, and I don't really think they uh, I can't recall very many penalties at all so far, Doug. Well, that time, Mickey Cowan was double teamed. <laughs> Number 40 didn't come close. The Bulldogs get the punt away, and Alabama will have good field position on the 46 with 15 seconds remaining in the half. Freddie Kitchens goes down to one knee, and that'll end the half. With Alabama on top, 35-0. Scott? Well, Doug, the critical thing about this game right now is what kind of halftime show we're going to see. Is it going to be any good? Yeah, it's going to be great. We're working. We just got done working on a new show, so it should be great. Will it be as good as David Palmer? Yeah, maybe even better. That's saying something there. Doug Ricky. Fred Kitchens, an all-state performer from Etowah High School. You see his wristband with all the plays on his left wrist. Uh, still learning the tied offense. But he's getting some playing time. Left lane, Arkansas, and now the pitch back to Brian Steger. And they, boy, the kid really is fun to watch. Third down and eight. Kitchens back to pass. Downfield rifles it to Kevin Lee, first down, and there's that uh, fastball. He gets it to the draw play to Brian Steger. Pulls over the tackler, but stops short of the first down. On the drive, Freddie K Kitchens, third down and two. Hammering forward for another first down. Alabama clobbering live tech in the first down department as expected. There's Steger breaking a tackle, still pumping those legs. First down, Crimson Tide. Marcus Mooring, the block that freed him. He gets a good block from Mooring. 
Here's the pitch. Tall sweep. Kitchens back to Steger. Watch the good block there. Kicks it out. Outruns the defender there. Turns the corner. Steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Brian Steger. There's the scoring drive. Ten plays, 67 uh, yards. He's up almost six minutes of the clock. William Watts, a very high kick. He takes an interesting bounce. Back of the Bulldogs retreating and brought down about the eight-yard line. Rodney Bruce. There's Barbaro. He's back in. Did not punt the last time in the first half. And Mickey Kahn wide right. I'm kind of rooting for the guy. He almost got a block before, but again, they're making sure that Mickey is blocked. A high short punt. Fielded at the 45. The fair catch called by Tommy Johnson. Rory Segris, sophomore at right tackle in the game. Kitchens. Over the middle, Connor at the lawn. They a deadly high school combination, and now it scores in the collegiate ranks. Well, I think we got a, a celebration penalty. One of the officials from the other side threw it in. Dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike to be penalized on the kickoff against Fred. Give Todd Malone a lot, of, a lot of credit because that was a tough ball to catch. Imagine Kitchens to Malone in high school. Wow, they were tough to stop. The fair catch called for on the 38. Big Al has been celebrating for 27 straight games. He's having a ball. There we saw a little speed. Joe Ferguson is one of the offensive coaches. Joe didn't play at Louisiana Tech, but had a tremendous career in the NFL. Guy taking the way. Welcome to the workhorse. Great three. Up to the 25-yard line. Colonial high. And right down the middle. It's good. So the shutout is no longer. It's 49 to 3 and Boniel, B-O-N-I-O-L, puts the Bulldogs on the board. Former players everywhere today, all coming back to watch the alma mater. Walter Lewis now works in Birmingham. Used to be a football coach. Ryan Steger continues to just uh, go forward. Third down, a long one. There's Sherm. Goes forward. Sherman not doing a lot of interviews these days. Wow, there are all sorts of folks. Toby Shields, the All-American center, who's now resting on the sidelines. And perhaps even uh, talking to his family. There's a nice pass to Hake. Again, Freddie Kitchens uh, is perfect, isn't he? Has he thrown an incomplete pass? I don't believe so. 14 minutes to play in this football game. There's Sherman. Taking a hit, bounces off, breaks the outside, and gets a first down. Don't stop your feet. That time Sherman Williams kept the feet moving even after the big hit, bounced back, and kept going. First and ten. Sherman Williams, big haul. Goes forward for what looks like another Alabama first down. Dancers. They're apparently getting an early start to the exit gate. Sherman Williams getting hit pretty hard, breaking tackles. Didn't gain much, but uh, it was exciting. A lot of work for one yard. First and ten, Kitchen. Sherman Williams. Good block again by the fullback, and Sherman uh, gets down to the two-yard line. He had 87 yards before that carry, so now give him 94 as he gets close to that 100-yard mark. Patrick Hapen there, along with Tony Johnson. There's Sherman falling forward for his third touchdown of the afternoon. 15. It has been a wonderful afternoon for football, especially if you're a Crimson Tide supporter. There's Cooper. Check that Redmond. Bring it up, knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. New quarterback for Louisiana Tech is Wade Hill. Redmond gets stopped. Mickey Kahn. There's Redmond. Being stopped by Eric Turner. 
former head coach at LSU, played in the NFL. Saw Jerry halftime. They'll get back into their conference and hopefully pick up some wins later on in the year. Fumble snap. Wade Hill goes forward. And close to a first down. Third down and seven, 6.43 on the clock. There's the draw play. Uh-uh, not this time. Andre Royal didn't bite. Kind of interesting, the uh, Louisiana Tech ladies basketball team, nationally ranked, has won national championships. They have a different nickname than the rest of the teams. At Louisiana Tech, nice punt. Out of bounds. And that should do it. A gain of seven. Should put Sherman Williams over the century mark. Brian Steger, we interviewed him last week for a story. He goes right, and that time was uh, brought down. Flag down, perhaps, face mask. Personal foul, face mask, against the defense, first down. Credit goes all the way up to, to Hootie Ingram and Dr. Sayers. They've just done a tremendous job with the program. All the assistant coaches, Brother Oliver, Mike Dubose, Ellis Johnson, Jeff Rousey on defense, Mal Moore, Jimmy Fuller, the whole crew. It's a lot to be proud of. Deal with the punt, fielded at the 15. Fair catch called for by Rocky Kingria. And I can't help but remember the day that Gene Stallings was announced as the new head coach. Uh, Hootie Ingram, emotional at the time, told everyone he picked the right man for the job after an 0-3 start. There were many doubters wondering if that gentleman who had come in with a losing record was the right man. But boy, was he ever the right choice as he is... Uh, Won 27 in a row, a national championship, the first time an Alabama team or any team in Southeastern Conference history has ever gone 13-0 and as they knock off Miami in the Sugar Bowl in a game that will forever go down in history as perhaps the greatest win at Alabama, which is saying a lot when you consider 101 years of successful football. Well, it really it was a great win in, uh, in light of the, just the circumstances with with the, the turnover in the, in the coaching uh, in Tuscaloosa and Coach Stallings and the staff coming in and, and putting themselves in that position to be a national championship game with the SEC championship. Big game here in Birmingham last year. It was just an outstanding season. And there you see the clock winding down and uh, just another big win for the Alabama Crimson Tide. 27 straight a year ago. It was 13 to nothing. It was raining. It was gloomy and cloudy at Legion Field. And Alabama was whew, breathing a sigh of relief. Today... The tables turned a bit. Louisiana Tech lost 19 starters off last year's talented squad. You see, Gene Stallings has the utmost respect for Joe Raymond Pease, a very well-coached football team. Let's give the Bulldogs credit. The final, 56-3, and uh, it was a great team against a team that is rebuilding today.